Okay, a lot more Fantastic Four. We've got the uh, Matt Fraction, Mark Bagley, full set, 1 to 16. There's the uh, Phantom variant, and there's a nice Doctor Doom cover. Uh, you also have the full James Robinson, Leonard Kirk set, 1 to 14. I think that's volume 4. Uh, Marvel Knights 4 was a um, series that uh, McNiven did the covers and interiors for, and uh, Roberto Aguar Sacasa was the writer. Um, there's a lot of cool covers in this, and, uh, actually, there's quite a few that I've not seen before, um, just because the run doesn't really come in very often. Um, uh, that one had a first appearance of one of the, um, Kangs. Nice Doom cover. Uh, I think that's Tony Harris. A couple of Mike Allreds, a little homage to the X-Men. Another Tony Harris, McNiven again. There's a Clayton Crane, and there's the last one. All right, here's a uh, store exclusive, May, uh, Mike Mayhew, and that is The Virgin. This is for the Dan Slot run. Another uh, store exclusive, uh, Del Otto and The Virgin. One in 25, Sinkovich, or Sinkovich. One in 25, one in 25. Uh, Mark Brooks, he'll be in Montreal Comic Con this year, uh, and so will we. Uh, Scotty Young variants. Unplugged, full set, high grade. There you go, one to six. Fantastic Four roast, and a uh, full run of the Unlimited. There's a new stamp for number one. All high grade. If you're missing a book, we got you. There's the last issue. All right, Jim Lee doing his Fantastic Four run, but he only did art for the first few. Ben Grimbile. Um, number two, number twos always did a, a second uh, cover. They always did a variant um, in '99. It's kind of fun. None of them are really sought after though. First Aisha. First uh, Valeria von Doom. Their first full bounty. We're coming up to my uh, favorite run. Maybe my favorite? Second favorite? I don't know. But uh, when LaRocca... No, was it LaRocca? No. Um, I'm forgetting his name. Right here. Pacheco. When he did his run with Fantastic Four, I thought it was amazing. The art is killer. He was writing it as well. He ended up getting Jeff Loeb to do the scripting. Um, so if you haven't tried this run out, I suggest it. It's really fun. And the art is amazing. You got a nice high grade new stands. There's a couple in here, not many. Maybe two, three the most. There's another one. Uh, Barry Windsor Smith cover, and it's got the first cameo of uh, Valeria Richards, um, just in the womb. And we did a full set. It's a connecting uh, cover set that it goes top to bottom. And in the last part, you get your first full uh, Valeria Richards as a baby. Uh, you can see the connecting right here. See? Boom, boom. And boom. So first Valeria right there. Phil Noto cover. Uh, really early Del Auto cover for Marvel. It's not his first, but it's close. Um, I love this Mark Wade run as well. This is a, a favorite of mine. The sent sentient... Uh, sorry, I've got a cold um, storyline. It's really cool. So my Fantastic Four... Um, tips for readers is Mark Wade and uh, Carlos Pacheco. Uh, one per store, uh, John Romita Jr. When he came back to Marvel, it was black and white and color. And Ryan North, actually he's doing some fun stuff with them as well. Um, I love the standalone stories. There's a 1 in 50 Kirby, 1 in 25 um, Arthur Adams. And Alex Ross covers throughout. Doom. And I put a set of the uh, the solo covers together. On the four. We had uh, some CGCs come in this weekend. Godzilla, 9.8. How can you not love that? Star Wars number two. First Ben Kenobi. Um, and uh, Han Solo. And uh, Chewbacca. 
And then you got a 9.6 on number one. First everything. Uh, $2.99, Amazing Spider-Man. Red Sonia, 9.6. Frank Thorne cover. And Spider-Woman, number one, 9.6. Marvel Knights, uh, full set, 1 to 15, all in there. We've got some singles as well. Again, the, the variant cover for number two. Nice uh, Casada covers. And then it goes to uh, Trent um, Kiwana. I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Another uh, high-grade newsstand. Got a Punisher Ghost Rider. That was a big book for a while. Double shot if you want a Garth Ennis Punisher story with Casada drawing it. There you go. Superpowers. I haven't put this series out in a long time either. Uh, Jack Kirby drawing all the classic uh, superheroes. Can't go wrong there. And we got some nice high grade Canadian price variants as well. Full set. All Canadian. One to four. Big Hero 6. Are they ever going to do another movie? Who knows? But David Nakayama did the interior art. He doesn't do interior art anymore. Domino, Delato variant. There's a second print variant. Some great land. Her first uh, miniseries complete. And her second one. There's one in 25 Ultimate X Men. Uh, nice high grade Starfire if you're into that. First uh, Azari T'Challa. John Carter, nice high grade. This guy has a tear up there, so what are you going to do, eh? High grade Logan's Run. Which is great story. It's getting an animated series, The Fly, first appearance. And some nice uh, gold key Star Trek. Got some high grades in here. A Whitman variant. We haven't had any of this stuff in a while. How about some Kevin Eastman, Simon Bisley? Uh, Bisley, uh, Bump and Cuts. First print of From Hell. That's the third print. Baseball Comics. Number one has the uh, cards inside. There's number two. It's the full set. But if you just want number one, no cards. There you go. Megaton Man. First Megaton Man and Yarn Man from Don Simpson. Full set. One to ten. Got a few strays. And uh, Xenozoic Tales. This turns into a... Uh, Dinosaurs and Cadillacs from Mark Schultz. Great art. I love that stuff. Denizens of Deep City. A little bit of Amazing Spidey, not much. First Goblin Queen, the 1 in 10. 1 in 50 sketch. First Chasm. It's a nice Momoko cover. First Queen Goblin. Uh, new Silk costume in that issue. Nice cover. Second Silk. Campbell cover, second Spider Gwen, second print, second print, third print, first Cindy Moon Campbell cover, and your Ramos cover, first full red Goblin, some late in the game X Factor, and a couple of stray Ghost Riders. Oh, and Legends, first modern Suicide Squad. There you go, that's it for today.